I am Professor Vinster. Welcome to Terplastic World. Professor Venster here. I know I've done this video before, but it was at the very beginning when I first started the channel. <clears throat> it was a little dark. So I thought I would actually do a revise to it so that uh, we had a little more light. And I think I'm going to go a little farther into some other eyes too uh, to show what we can do for um, other uh, animals and uh, with a kind of a smaller uh, and painted eye. So right now we'll get started. <clears throat> Gonna clear my throat. <clears throat> We're ready to go. All right. So I've got this paper right here right now. It's actually cardstock. And it's got a whole bunch of different style eyes. Uh, they're all fish eyes, of course. And I will show you how to apply the glue and cut them out. Uh, if you already know how to do this, you're going to say, oh, man, this is awesome how it turns out. So now to keep this uh, stuff here from drying up, I just used a piece of baggie. And we'll check the tip to make sure that that is open, which usually it gets plugged up. So we'll clean that out. Take that, put this on here. Now I pre-selected the size of eyes. So I'll open up the bag. And I'm going to make a set. So not just one, I'll make a set. Because I can use the set. So if I make one, it'll be sitting by itself. And then I'll have to make another one later. So I might as well make the set now. So I'm going to choose, let's see here. What's the easiest one here that uh, it's easy to see that we can work on? Well, let's, let's actually make these two here. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to pre-put the glass on top just to make sure I've got the right size glass, which I do. So both of these will be like that. So I'll move them aside. Now I want to put a drop of glue in the center. Just enough. To do just to cover the pupil a bit. Take the eye, put it on top. Now, like the, the other glue that I used for putting the bodies of the animals together, the hot glue, this stuff does not take long to set up either. So you gotta kinda wanna put them, kinda gonna gonna wanna, if you know what I mean, you wanna put them quickly. And if you get some on top. So that's that's them there. Now, before I forget, I'm going to take this back. And I'm going to put this back on it like that. Because if I don't do that, I'm going to be heartbroken when I go next time to do a job. And it's all hardened up. And that's going to irritate me. So we will let that dry. So I will uh, let that dry up a bit. Okay, I've let that dry for a bit. It's not completely dry yet. But what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna take these small scissors and they're gonna make things a lot easier because I'm gonna show a different, couple different ways to do things here. So I'm actually gonna cut this. I cut that to there. And I'm going to cut this. Why couldn't I make it look easy? 
and pull that. I'm just going to put this in with my my eyeball collection. And I might as well cut this one off too. Now, if I had my big scissors in front of me, that would have been fine. I'm going to put this one in there too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this out here. Give enough room for the next one to do the next time. I'm just trying to make this a little bit easier, which to some of you it might look easier, some of you might not look easier. And I'm going to take this here, put this aside. I'll put that up there. This here, oh, there we go, is is the eyes that I've got. And they're just about dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. The one I'm going to use the X-Acto knife. And I'm going to cut around it. Now I just put a brand new blade in here. So you guys got to watch it when you do this. And if you're a young person, depending how long young you are, make sure you have somebody to supervise you. Even a person like me, the odd time needs a trip to the hospital for stitches. And there we go. So that one's cut out. Now this one, I'm going to actually, you got a bit of glue, which is fine. It's glass. That one looks a little foggy. This one I'm going to cut out with the scissors, which is easy to do too. It's probably easier, if not just as easy. And cut, and cut, and cut around. And not rip that. I don't want to rip that. This there, little piece there. And clean it up. There we go. So we got two eyes done. And you can trim it. Try to get the excess off your scissors because when you put your scissors away and they got glue on them, it's no fun. Now, they actually look a little bit foggy because when I rolled it around, I had some glue on my fingers. So it got on the top of it and it fogged it up. But you can take the, the knife, take it off. This is probably the first time I've done that, but hey, because it's the first time I've done it, at least I can show you how to solve it. Now you can scratch this, so you want to be careful. So you, you can scratch the surface of So you want to Clean them up. You can let them dry and then clean them up too. Clean them up with your fingernail. Doesn't matter. Get rid of that. Still a little bit foggy. There you go. So there's there's an eye right there. Let's see if I can bring it up. Butterfingers. Same with this one here. This one here is a little bit foggy too. I see the bit of glue coming off. The whole idea is not to get it on your fingers and then run into the problem in the first place. There you go. So then what I usually do is I have a whole bunch of bottles, pill bottles and stuff that from the pharmacy left over, take the labels off, put new labels on them, and then I'll put them in a bottle. I'll label them what they're for or whatever I feel they're for. So there's two eyes and what a mess. But hey, you can even, you can cut it on a, a surface uh, uh, 
it, this one is repairing surface. There's a one I've got here. I don't know if you can quite see it. Yeah, this one here. That's a you cut that it repairs itself. This is a piece of glass. A piece of glass is, excuse me, probably a lot easier. Yep, and then you just trim the edges, clean those up. There you go. So that's how you can do it with a pair of scissors. Uh, we'll do that properly. A pair of scissors and an exacto knife. Okay, I'm back. Now, we're going to try to do a different kind of. I got a whole pile of these. I ordered these from AliExpress, like four bucks for like <laughs> this whole bottle. It's not as easy to get stuff from there as it was. This one's got a little, a couple, actually has a couple uh, air bubbles in it, which will be fine. I'll just, it's just for an experiment. So what I'm going to do is, this, this one's probably a little too big for doing the center. So I'm going to take this marker here, paint, paint marker here, and I'm going to, these are glass, so I'm going to pick it up. You can hold it with a with a uh, pair of pliers if you wish to. I don't know if, how easy it'll be like that. That's pretty easy. So then you just kind of want to dab your paint. There's a little bit of a contour there, so you might want to push it down. If you push on these markers, they'll actually push put more paint in. So we'll do the center of this. And we'll just do some stuff on the outside. I don't know. I want to make this so you can see that I got to get used to these, where these cameras are set up. Eh. So there we go. But then just put some. Like that. So then on the other side, it should look like that, which is really cool. But okay, so a minute ago, I just took one and painted it blue before I came back on. This yellow one's, I guess this is a thick one. So what we'll do is we'll pick this one up and we'll do the outside. Put the yellow on the outside. Yellow on the outside. You could use a paintbrush. I just find these easier. And there you go. That looks really quite cool. So then you let that dry. And we'll put, the, well, we'll just put that there like that. So anyway, now you can get these markers. Now these are the bigger ones. I've got the smaller ones, but this will give you an idea. Put that aside there. So these markers right here, there's browns, different colors. You can get these online. So, and it's an easy, I find it an easier way to make them after this one dries. After this one dries, then I'll put another color around that. But there's the other one, the one with the yellow. Let's see if we can focus on that half decently. Let's see what about this camera here. There we go. Here, so that's, yeah. And we just painted, I'll hold it like this. And then we just painted in behind it like that, which these are really cool. And then this, of course, the wire itself, you can poke through. You could use these for teddy bears. They come in all different sizes. 
Let's see your alternative between those and those. I think I got, yeah, these are all the same size. So, so they basically look like this to start. They're just like this to start. And if you turn it upside down, they're like that. And you can paint them any color you want. Now, you're going to need to get yourself, uh, if I put it in the camera properly. you got to get some of this stuff. Diamond glaze. I, I believe you can get it from craft stores. Uh, I get it from Amazon. And these are, are the glass domes. Now, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'm going to put the word in the video. And uh, because I looked at the word a few times and I have no idea. But anyway, so you're going to need these too. And you can buy these. They're relatively cheap. So, And there's our eyes again. So, all right. So that's it for those. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.